Philippines is one of my favorite places to go. The people are so friendly. We have a team going to the Philippines, Lord willing, this summer. And we just received word from our base there that the super typhoon that hit there just recently uh, took off three roofs from our buildings and uh, did a lot of damage in the area in northern Mindanao uh, where our base is located. In fact, 390 people were killed in this typhoon. Uh, we're hoping, of course, the team that's going in there is going to be able to do some relief work. We need people because there's a tremendous need. So many places were destroyed. In fact, uh, Jen Lee Tan and her husband, Fernando, who runs the work there, uh, her mother and father completely lost their home. So there's been massive destruction of three days of winds and rain pounding on them from the super uh, typhoon. We're looking for guys and gals to go help do this relief effort and of course, reach out to a number of people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We hope that you can be one of those that will go on the Philippine relief team this year. Hey guys, my name is Mo Master and I've been on several team missions teams and traveled around quite a bit. So I'd like to share with you guys some tips on what you'll need for your passport, especially if you've never traveled before or this is your first team missions team. The first thing I want to talk to you about is your passport book. You will need a book that looks exactly like this, not a card. That will not be sufficient, so make sure you're bringing a book. All of our teams, except the U.S. teams, will require you to have a passport. So make sure you're bringing a passport, especially if you're going overseas. If you already have a passport, make sure you're checking that expiration date to see when it expires. It cannot expire before February of 2014, so make sure you're looking at that date and keeping it up to date. So what you probably already know is that you need two passport style pictures to get your passport. But what you might not know is that some countries require you to have a visa to get into their country. So what you will need for that is two extra passport style pictures along with your passport. We will contact you in the spring to let you know if your team will require you to have a visa and make sure you've got those two extra passport pictures to go with your passport. Last but not least, we would like you to send us a copy of your picture page in your passport. This will be for our records and also to help us with the visa process. Hi, my name is Amy Ann Chambers. I work with Team Missions International in the Promotions Department, and I'll be one of the people who call you after you register on a team and let you know which team you made it on. So if you have any questions before or after we call, please let us know at 321 453-0350. You're also going to get a packet in the mail. It's going to have your prayer cards and your construction video, your literature in this folder, your letters to send to people. So if you have any questions, please let us know. And I am looking forward to seeing you at the Lord's Boot Camp. Boot camp's coming. Have you gotten your boots yet? When you get your boots, make sure they're six inches tall, measuring from the ground up. Make sure you have laces that will lace all the way up to the top. Make sure it's all leather, no Gore-Tex, no mesh material. And most importantly, good quality boots. They gotta last you through boot camp. They gotta last you on the field. So make sure that there's something that's gonna last. Also, break your boots in or you're gonna have blisters. One little blister at boot camp is a lot of pain. So make sure you are wearing them, wear them with two pairs of socks, gives you some extra cushion. And also, make sure you soak them in water. If you soak them overnight, then wear them all day with two pairs of socks, they mold to your feet because it's leather. And then you won't have the blisters as much. See you at boot camp. I'm Bob Land, and this is my wife, Bernie, and director of Teen Missions International. And this is the staff and the families of Teen Missions International. And we, as the staff of Teen Missions, wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year!